going to be saviors in the Mount, Mount Zion, which we are called to be. It's not just Jesus was the Savior, but then there's saviors, mm -hmm. deliverers that we're called to be. Amen? Amen. Not few sinners, right. deliverers. The things that the Spirit is revealing to His body of sons are not easily understood. They are His things of spiritual inheritance reserved in heavenly places in Christ. So you won't discover it if you have uh, affiliations and ties to uh, religious uh, establishments. I'll put it this way. Just skip the fat off and get your meat. If you just so de denominationally inclined, and your affiliation is to the creeds and bylaws mm -hmm. instead of the progression of, of truth that God is bringing you into. Yes. The heavenly places in Christ is not some spooky thing. We're there. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's the information that, that, that we talked about in Matthew 17 when he brings us up in, a, in our understanding. Where the heavenly places is being dispersed. Mm -hmm. they, are in, they are invisible, which means not seen outwardly, but invisible. In visible. So the image that we carry has to change. The image is, a, is, a, is, is part of, we have a poor self-image or we have a poor image of ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's because he hasn't written the tablets of our hearts. See, once you start allowing him, if once you move beyond ink and it start writing the tablets of your heart, your perception changes. Your image changes. Then all of a sudden you say, well man, I've been ordained. I mean, not ordained, but I had oil poured on me one Friday night, and uh, or had six sessions of uh, prophetic classes. Your image changed. Say, hmm, man, I'm supposed to prophesy. You brought out this spirit on all flesh. I'm supposed to prophesy. I don't care who tell you you ain't supposed to. Come on. You are supposed to prophesy. I don't care if you ain't prophesied ten years. I don't care. Come on. You're supposed to prophesy. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he repented. He said he's going to do it. If he spoke, he's going to bring it to pass, and he's going to bring it to pass. Yeah. I don't know why you're not, but you're supposed to. Hmm. That's the part of your welcome package. <laughs> yeah, being in the kingdom. That, that, that lets you know that, you know what I'm saying? I know what's in the Father's house. Yes, That's one of the rooms in the Father's house is the prophetic ministry. Amen. I can't prophesy. Yes. We got folks say, well, I'm too old to prophesy. You lie, you fry. <laughs> Jacob, who was under the old administration, didn't get the luxuries we got. Then it filled with the Holy Spirit. He was moved by the Spirit. Prophesied to 12 people, 12 tribes. In the latter day, am I right? Without the Spirit, he prophesied. Hmm. Tell me some more. Those are the excuses. Or should I say there, those are accusations. Oh boy. That our mind tell us that becomes excuses. Hmm. So it start off as an accusation that you can't prophesy. You can't pray. We get the same five people pray. And I'm told people personally you're supposed to be praying. This is like, why well, wait till he come get me? <laughs> you you wait. Because I ain't coming to get you. Amen. You 18 years three times over. If he's 12 or 15, 11 or 10, yeah. We gotta we gotta grow up in them in, in our understanding. So it's it, it's it, it's let me go back to my notes and stop messing. It means to become visible to the eyes of our understanding that we have insight. So it's not only is it invisible, which means it's things and concepts and understanding and mysteries that have been placed on the inside of us, but now it comes to the eyes of our understanding and it yields insights, the insight. That's why we gotta learn how to cultivate a correct atmosphere internally. That's why you can't just let any and everything go on internally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Let me just hurry up. That is why the Holy Spirit is helping us climb the high mountain apart. Apart from what? Apart from the carnal-minded theology we've had in church for so many years. Idiot, man. Centuries. That controls our thinking. The stuff I have to fight through to get you to accept what I'm saying. The stuff you have to get on Facebook to find somebody with the same language. And 
<laughs> trying to figure out why nobody else is speaking it. Oh, there, I got brothers that speak it. Trust me, I'm not by myself. You just won't find it in the West. Because it's full of entertainment. It's man-centered, need-oriented. What can you do for me now? What have you done for me lately? So he's gonna break. He's taking us apart, apart from the doctrines that supported all the superstition and the, and the, and the legends and folklore and, and and all that stuff. The superstition, you know what it is. You know the eschatology and the rapture and all that other stuff. He's taking us apart from those things. He's taking us apart from the crowd of religious folks gathered at the bottom of the mountain. There's some people that won't go up. He's taking us apart from them. He's, you get what I'm saying? They probably walk with you to the bottom, to the base of the mountain, but they don't want to go up. Can you allow the Holy Spirit to take you and bring you? Come on, yes, yes. I was like that in one season. When we started this ministry, you heard the testimony. Prophet wasn't quite on the same page. But I had a mission. I loved him when I got home. But I preached like I loved him while she was gone. She would go home, you know, get mad in the middle of service. Y'all know the story. <laughs> what I'm supposed to do, cower up and say, you know what, let's not have service tonight, guys. <laughs> you did one time. Yeah, one time. No, I was just playing. Oh, did I? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about it like, you been hooked, we can make a No, I didn't do it. I, not one time. You know what, I got mad. Mm -hmm. I preached harder. Then I wanted to cast out devils. <laughs> so you gonna torment me? I'm gonna torment you. That's how you do it. You flip the script. You don't go run and hide. I know I was called. I know God has given me the approval. I know I had the spirit. The anointing was there. She had to work out her own salvation with fear and tremor. I didn't accuse her. I didn't tell her how miserable and wretched she was. I didn't deliver her. I just kept it moving. That's what you do. You keep it moving. The enemy wants you to stop. Oh, now you got time. You'll be amazed when you take your mind off things how they get it together. Right. Yeah. I'm glad you kept moving. I'm, I'm glad. Me too, baby. Those that can't hear me heard what you said, they're just glad I kept moving. It wasn't easy, but it was the right thing to do. So he wanted, he'll take you from the religious folks from the bottom of the mountain. As we come to those high places, as he's bringing us into those high places, we have an opportunity to be transformed. And that is the place where we receive the transformation. There's so many things that God wants to speak to us, but we have to be able to, willing to cut the ground wire, the disconnections, some of the things that want to keep us earthbound and seasick, some of the things that won't allow us to ascend into our identity, the frustration of our soul.